It's Billy Bob Bobcat! Manipulating Maestro of the Power Puck. Oh, yeah! <laughs> he aims, he shoots, he scores! Billy Bob! Hey! Billy Bob, Billy Bob! Eh, yeah, phooey. There's no fun without any equipment. If I only had a real make-believe acorn hockey stick, then I could really rule the rink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. Hey, Billy Bob, look what I found. Huh? This really neat stick. <laughs> a stick? Hmm. Yeah, I found it in the woods. That's pretty neat, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to force you up all these leaves. Hey, you want to play stick ball? <laughs> Perfecto. This is just what I need. <laughs> Give me that. Hey. Uh, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> He aims, he shoots, he scores! The crowd goes wild! Footsteps in the forest, once upon a tree. Feels like we are on the way to discovery. With your hand in my hand, together naturally. Footsteps in the forest, once upon a tree. With your hand in my hand, together naturally. Footsteps in the forest, once upon a tree. Once upon a tree. Once upon a tree. Guys, uh, first off, I need someone to play goalie, and uh, second, I uh, need uh, an acorn, a little rock or something. To... <gasps> hey, what you got there? What? Oh, 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 oh cool. Oh, so cool. Oh, this is just what I need. This will make a great puck for acorn hockey. <laughs> oh, Billy Bob, Jasper and I are playing with that. Yeah. This is going to be so great. Oh, now all I need is a helmet. Uh-huh. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, can you believe that? He did it again! Oh, that Billy Bob! You just don't say things without asking first. You should ask, may I or please? Does he think he is the king to boss me around and then take anything he sees? Are you D E? He's, He's so rude. I was happy till he spoiled my mood. He's, He's so rude, really rocks him. Took it first, your stick, and then my stone. We should show him how to hold the pine cone. Are you D? -E? He's, He's so rude. I was happy till he spoiled my mood. He's so rude, really rotten. Bob yeah. was rude. Oh, boy, is he oh. rude. Oh, he makes me so mad. I want my pebble. I want my stick back. Hmm. Like, I really cannot believe how rude that Billy Bob is being. <sighs> you know what I think, Blue? When someone's rude, it's just like hearing a sour note in a beautiful piece of music. Yeah, well, you sure are the expert on that. On what? Good manners or beautiful music? Um, I was thinking about the sour note part. <laughs> now, we've got our peanut butter.
butter. We've got some honey. Mm -hmm. We've got some delicious sunflower seeds. Oh, these peanut butter treats are going to be great. I can't wait to make them. I know. This is my special peanut butter treats pan. Now we're going to put all of these ingredients in here. Then we're going to mix them up. We're going to use a spoon to drop them on a cookie sheet and then sprinkle them with some sesame seeds. Then we'll put them to cool in the fridge. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Now, the first thing that we need to... Do, oh, hey, wait. The first thing we need to do is wait? Oh, no. Um, I just realized I forgot the raisins. We cannot make peanut butter treats without raisins. <gasps> Come on, let's check outside. Maybe I left them out there. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. Just what I was looking for. The perfect acorn hockey helmet. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Just my son. Oh. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, these <laughs> raisins are going to make them perfect. Yeah, they are. Oh, now let's make those treats, Jenny. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. Where'd the saucepan go? Huh? Well, it was, oh, just right there. Yeah. Hey, say, did it drop under the table, Mara? Oh. No, not under here. Oh. Boy, how could it just disappear like that? I don't know. Maybe somebody came and borrowed it. Boy, that'd be rude if someone took it without asking. Well, it sure would be. Oh, boy. Don't you hate it when people take things without asking first? I sure do. some of their stuff. But why? I mean, they know I'm gonna give it back. I see. So you borrowed a few of their things. Did you ask their permission? Yeah. Well, no, I uh, <laughs> sort of skipped that step. <laughs> you just took it without asking? Well, well, yeah. I mean, I know I'm supposed to ask permission and all that stuff, but I mean... So why didn't you? Because they're my friends. I'd lend them my stuff if they asked. If they asked? But what if they didn't ask? How would you feel then? Um, oh yeah, right, uh, a good point. I wouldn't like that so much. It's what we call treating each other with respect, Billy Bob. Treating people with respect is what polite people do. Polite? Polite means not being rude, behaving nicely. Yeah, 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 but Oakley, I'm a wild animal, reckless and carefree. What does that matter if I'm polite or not? Are you pulling my limb? Why, there isn't an animal around who doesn't understand the importance of good behavior. Animal manners really do show. 
into the magic pond we go. Oh. Don't you know, very proper polar bears would never think of giving each other the cold shoulder. I should say not. They always greet one another by circling, giving a polite sniff and chewing one another's necks. Gently, of course. Prairie dogs often say hello by kissing. They live close to each other in burrows underground, so they must get along with one another. Horses are very social animals, too. They live in herds and like to be close and touch each other. Have you ever heard the expression, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine? And these goats may not look like they're being polite, but butting heads is just their way of shaking hands. That way the younger, smaller goat gets to show respect for the older, stronger, bigger goats. But Oakley, oh, I'm so confused. Oh, the Sharon and then and, and button heads and everything, well, I mean... animals have different ways of showing respect and sharing space. But all animals know if they treat others with good manners, they'll be treated well too. So, the short edition would be something like this. To get the gang to play with me, I gotta be polite? By Jove, the cats figured it out. Oh, so why didn't you say so? Get some good manners. I can do that? Sure, no problem. Only one question. How do I get some? Remember the magic pond, Billy Bob. It's how you treat others. The magic pond. It's how I treat others. Yeah! I know. Oh, why didn't I think of this before? Hey, hello, Bush. I'm gonna play some acorn hockey. You up for that? Huh? 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 Hey, Bush. That is sure one cool helmet you got on there. <laughs> Billy Bob. Wow, Bob, sneak up on me, why don't you? Oh, it's you, Forrest. Sorry to scare you, Billy Bob. Why were you asking that plant to play hockey? Is that what they mean by Bush League? Ha <laughs> ha ha. No. I was just trying to figure something out. Hey, Bionic Beaver can do anything, right? Yep, just about. So? So, would Super Beaver Brain know anything about good manners? Funny. Along with the ability to travel at light speed and to fuse ions, Bionic Beaver also happens to be famous throughout the universe for his super polite powers. Really? So, uh, like, what if... Hey, look, here comes Dr. Dax with an unusual companion. Oh. Hey, Forrest. Hey, Billy Bob. Hi, Dr. Dex. Hi, Dex. Who painted your horse? <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy isn't a horse, but she is a friend of mine that I'm taking to a wildlife preserve. Hmm. Can you guess what she is? Mm, looks like a horse. With stripes, so she's a giraffe, right? No, no, not a giraffe, Billy Bob. Hmm? Dr. Dex, I believe Ziggy is a zebra. Like I said. So how's it going, Ziggy? <laughs> Forrest is right. Ziggy is a zebra. She's a young zebra. She's only five months old. And she lives in Africa with her friends and her relatives where they roam around and eat grass. But did you guys know that zebras are some of the friendliest and most polite animals in the world? Hmm. What do you mean, Dex? Well, zebras are noisy and lively animals, and they have to do certain things in order to live in large groups. Did you know that they actually make faces at each other? They're kind of like smiles. That's how they say hello. And they also nod their heads up and down, and they nibble. That's how they say, I like you. Ooh, look, Dr. Dex, she likes you. Yeah, she yeah but Dr. Dex, what are they saying with their stripes? Well, one of the reasons zebras have stripes is so that they can all stay safe. When you put a whole bunch of animals with stripes together, it makes it hard to see just one. Like I said, guys, zebras love to hang out with each other, and they're also very polite. That's how they get along. And speaking of getting along, I think Ziggy and I had better be getting along, too. See you later, guys. Bye, Dr. Dex. Bye, Ziggy. <laughs> so, Forrest, you got to help me out, man. Since you know so much about Bionic Beaver, and, well, he's got super polite powers, yes. do you think you could teach me good manners? <sighs> manners? Well, I don't see why not, Billy Bob. Yeah? Good manners aren't hard to learn. Yeah. Okay? Bionic Beaver Charm School is open for lessons. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now, good manners are actually very easy. Really. All you have to do is remember three special sayings. Good. As long as it's only three. I get a bit fuzzy on the big numbers, okay, you know. Okay, <laughs> okay, Billy Bob. The first one is thank you. 
thank you. Okay, got it. Piece of cake. <laughs> Very good. And the second one is, may I? May I. Okay, got that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the third one is, please. That's it? Thank you, may I, and please? Oh, come on, there's got to be more to it than that. Trust me, Billy Bob. Learn those three sayings, and anywhere you go, they'll think you have got good manners. It's easy to be polite. It's simple to get it right. Use thank you, may I, and please. Be super polite with ease. It's simple to be polite. It's easy to get it right. Say, think I made you. Oh, jeez. No, thank you, may I, and please. Oh. If someone does something nice, say. Thank you. Very good, very good. If you see a cherry pie and want a slice, say. Please. See, it's a please. If you'd like a friend to lend his toy, say. Give it here. No, that's not it. If you'd like a friend to lend his toy, say may I? By George, you've got it! It's, it's easy, easy to be polite. It's simple to get it right. Use thank you, may I, and please. Be super polite with ease. It's easy to sound refined. Just keep all these words in mind. No reason to be uptight. It's easy. Thank you. Easy. May I? Easy. Please. To be polite. Away. Very good, Billy Bob. Thank you. After you. Oh, no, 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 no. On the contrary. After you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Blue. It's so nice to put on manners now and then. Don't you think so? No, Rhapsody, I do not. Manners are not like clothes. You are supposed to have good manners all the time. Oh, well, who told you that? My mommy. Crickets are very polite, you know. If you bug everyone and act rude, well, it, it's just not cricket. If you are a cricket, then you must be courteous to everyone you meet and see. Close your mouth when you chew your food Cause it isn't very cricket being one rude dude Cause it isn't very cricket being one rude dude My mother taught me how a cricket ought to be And it isn't very cricket to act selfishly His mother taught him how a cricket ought to be And it isn't very cricket to act selfishly Like Pip Pip And cheery oh. Quite. 48, 49, 50! Oh, Klee Dokley! Anyone around my base is gonna be it! Mara! <laughs> Billy Bob, it's you. Okay, Amber and Jasper, ready or not, here I come! Mara, please don't go! We need to talk! We do? Mm hmm. First, I wanted to give back Jenny's pen. Oh. And second, I wanted to say, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why, thank you, Billy Bob. And yet I hesitate. For what words could make up for my bad manners? Could you ever forgive me for the way I have treated you? Oh, why, sure, Billy Bob. Hey, listen, if you want to play with us... Tut, tut, tut. No, I am not worthy of your kindness. I am low. Low! Too low for you to even play with! And so I grovel for forgiveness at your paws. Grovel, 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 grovel. Billy Bob, get up! You look silly down there! You're right! I am not worthy to kiss the ground that you walk on. I am not worthy even to breathe the same air! <gasps> Hey, Billy Bob, you okay? <laughs> <gasps> Jenny! 
Jasper! Amber! Oh, my dearest friends whom I have so mistreated! To you, young noble hare, I return your stick. And to you, sweet and bumptious bear, I return your pebble. And I beg you both for your forgiveness. Um, okay, that's cool. You want to play with us now? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, my dearest friends. I am forever your humble and obedient servant. A thousand blessings. You're welcome. Oh, that tickles. Okay, Billy Bob, home base is this big rock right over here. Oh, the perfect choice. Oh, an excellent choice. The most wonderful home base in all of the forest. So who would like to be it, Billy Bob? Why, that all depends upon your wishes. Do you want to be it? I don't know, do you? Oh, please tell me first. Well, I asked you first. No, 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 I asked what? you first, didn't I? Well, yes, but... Come on, guys, this just... fleet will never play anything. Hold on a minute. Can I make a suggestion here? Look, we really appreciate that you learned your lesson about good manners, Billy Bob. Yes, indeed I have. And we're really glad you said you're sorry for taking all of our toys and stuff without asking. Oh, the shame to be reminded of it. But I don't think that having good manners means you have to act so fancy. Huh? Yeah, sure. Being polite just means getting along with other folks. You know, treating them with respect. Yeah, like asking permission and saying please. And then saying thank you. You mean I don't have to crawl around on the ground and wear this funny bow tie and speak funny? Of course not. Just be regular, Billy Bob. Only don't act rude, okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm back and better than ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's good, good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Now, who wants a peanut butter treat? Oh, me, 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 Scrumptious Jenny! Oh, delicious! Really good! Thank you, Jenny! Jenny. Jenny. Oh, well. oh, Billy Bob, don't you have something you'd like to say to Jenny, too? Who, me? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I mean... Thank you, Jenny. These peanut butter treats are delish. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Billy Bob. Uh, and may I have another, uh, please? Oh, sure. My pleasure. I can? Really? Yes. Oh, hey, this good manner stuff really works. <laughs> yeah, Billy Bob. Can I have another one, too, please? Oh, yes, please. Oh, another one. Uh, uh, can I have another one, please? Hey, kids, it's your old pal, Oakley. Billy Bob learned a lot about good manners today, didn't he? I bet you knew he wasn't being very nice when he kept taking things from the other Twiggets. It isn't nice to take things without asking, is it? When the rest of the gang got mad and wouldn't play with Billy Bob, he came to me for a little advice. You see, Billy Bob thought he didn't need to worry about behaving nicely, but I showed him lots of animals have good manners, like the horses who nuzzle each other, and the goats who say hello by butting heads. Dr. Dex helped too when he arrived with Ziggy the Zebra. Did you know zebras make faces with each other to show they like each other? Of course, with good manners, Billy Bob thought he had to dress up and act silly. The gang told him he could have good manners without being so fancy. Today we all learned it's easy to be polite. It's easy to be polite. It's simple to get it right. Use thank you, may I, and please. Be super polite with ease. It's easy to sound refined. Just keep all these words in mind. No reason to be uptight. It's easy. Thank you. Easy. May I? Easy. Please. To be polite. Away! Remember, there's more to explore by visiting our website at www.onceuponatree.com. See you later, my little acorns, and remember, the adventure always starts with Once Upon a Tree.
Bear. There's a catnap going on here. Yes, dear, you startled us. I almost fell off my perch. Oh, why is everybody sleeping? I don't like naps. Mm -mm. Amber, when you're the oldest living creature in the forest, believe me, you look forward to a nap. <gasps> you're the oldest, Oakley? That's right. In fact, yeah, tomorrow is my birthday. Oakley's birthday. Oh, that's right, dear. But the wind blew so hard last night, poor Oakley didn't get a wink of sleep. So, do let us rest now. Yeah, meaning pipe down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How old will you be, Oakley? Shh. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. Tomorrow's Oakley's birthday. <gasps> We have got to have a party! <laughs> <laughs> Mention party? Tomorrow's Oakley's birthday! <laughs> yeah, and we're having a surprise party. Isn't that cool? A birthday party? What's so cool about a birthday party? I've never had a birthday party. I've never even been to a birthday party. Then you're in for a treat. Surprise birthday parties are the best. Yeah. Oh, you want to help? Help? Is this going to be any fun? There's going to be cake! <laughs> cake? What kind of cake? Oh, oh, oh carrot cake. Oh, I just love cake. 
carrots. Carrots and a cake? Please. Well, what kind of cake do you like, Billy Bob? Berry with berries on top. No, 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 no. Carrot with carrot frosting. Berry. Carrot. Berry. Carrot. Berry. Carrot. 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 Berry. Okay, you win. Berry it is. It is? Oh, <laughs> goody. I, 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 I mean, wait. No, no, no. Carrot, not berry. Carrot. Too bad, too sad. You said berry. Oh, yeah. We're having berry cake. Oh, <laughs> you tricked me. No fair, no fair. Hey, guys, let's let Jenny decide. Please. Great. I'll surprise everyone. Well, 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 what about candles? You need candles on a birthday cake. Ooh, that sister unit is right. One candle for each year. Now, how old is Oakley? Hmm. Well, I bet he's a gazillion years old. Well, I asked Oakley, but he fell asleep before he could tell me. No prop. I'll go ask him now. Whoa, 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 wait! You will spoil the surprise! That's right. If we ask Oakley how old he is, he might guess we're planning him a party. Hmm, then we'll have to be sneaky and trick Oakley into telling us how old he is. Oh, yes, we're gonna trick Oakley. We're gonna be sneaky. <laughs> I do not know how to be sneaky. No problemo, little barrister. Take a listen from Billy Bob. Nobody's sneakier than a bobcat. Come on! Now remember, guys, the party is a secret. Good luck, guys. I'll go start the cake. Oh, and be sure to make it a carrot cake. Okay. Berry. Oh, carrot. Berry. Carrot. Berry. Carrot. Now remember, we need to find out Oakley's age, but don't let on about the surprise party. Right, because it's a secret. Piece of cake. Berry cake, that is. Carrot <laughs> cake. Berry. 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 Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Uh, b -b 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 nothing. Uh, especially nothing about a party. <laughs> oh. Um, Oakley, we were just wondering, are you as old as the hills? Oh, no. Uh, the hills are much older than I am. As old as rocks? No. In fact, that rock over there was the very first thing I saw when I sprouted out of the ground. Oh, aha! Um, Oakley, when was it that you first sprouted? Oh, yeah, yeah, when? Let's see. It was... It was... Yes? Springtime. Yes, that was it. Early spring. Now what do we do? Still hasn't told us how old he is. And we still don't know how many candles to put on the berry cake. Berry. 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 Gentlemen, 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 please. Shh. I have an idea. Um, Oakley, do you know any animals that are older than you? Older than me? Well, I don't know. Into the magic pond we go. I bet he's super old. Oh, yes. Elephants grow big, hefty, and weighty. They live till they're 60 or 70 or 80. Is that elephant as old as you, Oakley? Oh, no, Forrest. I'm much older than 80. Hmm. Older than 80? At least we know that much. <laughs> hey, what about those guys? Are they older than you? Alligator grows to a ripe old age, maybe a hundred and three. They live on the water, they live on the land, but none live as long as me. Swimming in the deep blue sea, the dolphins that leap and swish live for a very long, long time, longer than most fish. Of all the birds in the forest, the parrots have something to boast. They caw and they coo and they holler that parrots live longer than most. Oakley told me that he is the oldest tree in the forest. Wow! Oakley, are you the oldest tree in the world? Oh, no. The oldest trees are the giant redwoods, cousins of mine. Take a look. Redwood trees grow very tall. They're tough and they are strong. If you tried to walk around one, it would take you very long. Uh, Oakley, how can you tell how old a tree is? Yeah, how can you tell? It's easy. 
Just count the rings. There's one ring for every birthday. Now that was an old tree. Uh, does that mean if we counted the rings in your trunk, we know how old you are, Oakley? Well, yes, but... Oh, can I do it? Oh, I can count really high. Oh, please, me, Whoa, me, me, whoa me, 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 Jasper. Whoa, to count my rings, you'd have to cut me down. Oh. Never mind. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How will we ever find out how old you are, Oakley? Amber, oh, shh. How old am I? Good question. I'll think about it. Uh, while I take a little nap. Hmm. Oh, we are never going to find out how old Oakley is. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, I have an idea. Maybe Mrs. Peepers can help us. Oh, yeah. oh I hope they find out Oakley's age soon. I can't wait to start this birthday party. Like Rhapsody, did you have birthday parties when you were little? Oh, big birthday parties. After all, I am a tree frog. I have 200 brothers and sisters, and we were all born on the same day. Like, wow, man, 200 brothers and sisters? Uh-huh. Let's see. There was Carlos, Carmen, Bobby, Esmeralda, Joey, Tina, Francine, uh, Donnie, I, I, Cubby, I, 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 I get the picture, Karen, Rhapsody. Jackson, Zach, Madeline, Chucky, um... Uh, Rhapsody? Uh, Rhapsody, that's me. Then there was Dave, Crystal, Bobby, Joe, Kevin, oh, Susan, Oh, man, Barry, she's Rima, gonna name them all. Bobby, Jim, like, Tim, somebody Jimmy, help Aaron, me! Ted, John, oh! Thank you... Mrs. Peepers, are you sure this will really work, that we'll find out how old Oakley is? Absolutely. If you want to find anything out from Oakley, you just tickle him in his sleep. <laughs> tickle him? Oh, that's right, dear. Get the old boy giggling, he'll tell you anything. Sometimes at night, just for fun, I tickle him and ask him questions. Oh, and he never wakes up? Oak trees sleep very soundly. Oh, it takes more than a tickle to wake up this old tree, believe you me. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Shh! Don't listen to Billy Bob, Mrs. Peepers. What do we do next? Everyone get your tickle muscles ready. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Ready! <laughs> We're ready! <laughs> All right, we start tickling when I give the word. What's the word? Um, how about giggle puss? <laughs> this gets worse and worse. And remember, get into his roots and under his branches. Oh, that really gets to him. Ready? All right. Giggle puss! <laughs> <laughs> Oakley, Oakley, tell me something. Oh, anything, I'll tell you. <laughs> Just stop tickling. Oh, tell me how old you are and I'll stop. <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> of course you can. More tickling. <laughs> I can't tell you. Oh, tell us how old you are. Why not? Be because I can't remember. <laughs> oh, no. You mean we did all this giggle puss stuff for nothing? No, oh, it's worse than that. If Oakley can't remember how old he is, how will we ever find out how many candles to put on the carrot cake? Berry. Carrot. Berry. Carrot. Oh, Berry. Not Berry. Again. Berry. 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 So, first you cut out strips of recycled paper like this. And you glue them into a ring, like this. Yeah. Then you take another strip, and you put it through the first ring, and you glue it together like this. <gasps> and if you keep doing it, see, you end up with a great party Whoa. decoration. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Dad. Dad. Hey, look who I found. Hi, Jasper. Hi, guys. Hi, Jasper. The guy's been telling me about uh, Oakley's birthday party. Yeah. What's that rock you got there? A present? <laughs> well, it's not a rock, Mara. It's a box turtle. Box turtle? Oh, 
box turtles are little turtles. Yes, but some turtles are big. In fact, the giant turtles that live in the Galapagos Islands sometimes weigh over 300 pounds. Hey, wow, did you hear what he said? He said that Galapagos Islands, that's the word everyone to go back to the <laughs> No, I said Galapagos Islands. They're near South America. Oh, never mind. Uh, do you know how old this turtle is, Dr. Dex? Not exactly, but turtles like this sometimes live a hundred years or more. Hey, maybe Dr. Dex knows how old Oakley is. Oakley? Well, he's very old. He's older than me, he's older than Jenny, he's older than the turtle. Wow. Uh, am I older than Mara, Dr. Dex? No, you're younger than Mara. Uh -oh. I get so mixed up. Uh, which is older and which is younger? Well, you know, Jasper, I know a great song about younger and older. Let's sing it. Younger than older, that's how it goes. Younger than older, everything grows. And an acorn will be a mighty tree someday. Younger than older is nature's way. A puppy, when it's older, is a dog. A chick becomes a chicken. Or a hen. A tadpole, when it's older, is a frog, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> That's great. Now you got it. Let's sing it once again. Younger than older, that's how it goes. Younger than older, everything grows. An acorn will be a mighty tree someday. Younger than older is nature's way. A kitten, when it's older, is a cat. A piglet, when it's older, is a pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> A cat becomes a cow. That's great, you got it now. And a colt, when it gets big, is a horse. Of course, of course. <laughs> Younger than older, that's how it goes. Younger than older, everything grows. <laughs> Everybody cakes here. <laughs> oh, oh, make it berry, make it berry. And Billy Bob, it's a surprise. Hey, everybody. Look what Mara and Forrest made. It's a present for Oakley from all of us. Oh, mm. wow. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> you did a really good job carving the shape of the acorn. Oh, well, gosh, Mrs. Peepers, that's what teeth are for. <laughs> hey, what are we waiting for? Let's party. Okay, everybody, get your party blowers. Oh, oh, oh party blowers, party blowers. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I've never had a surprise birthday party before, and I've been living for, for... Yes? For I don't remember how many years. No, that's, okay. <laughs> that's okay, Oakley. You're our friend and we love you, so happy birthday! <laughs> yes, very cake. Thank you, Jenny. You can thank Jasper, Billy Bob. It was his idea. Oh, thanks, Jess. I thought you wanted carrot cake. Well, I did. But the, we both like this cake. Wait till you try it. Oh, thanks, Jasper. You're a pal. <laughs> it's a beautiful cake, Jenny. <laughs> Since you couldn't remember how old you were, I put six berries on it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six? Wait a minute. You just reminded me how old I am. Six hundred years old today. Oh, Six hundred! Wow. I'm sure glad you didn't remember until now. Imagine six hundred berries. <laughs> <laughs> Having a party, I knew we could do it. Present day food. Let's get to it. For Oakley, our friend, it's a celebration. A way to show our feet. Oh, oh, we love you so. A very happy birthday to you. A 
because of all these decorations. Oh, don't be a party pooper, Boo. It's Oakley's birthday. Enjoy it. Uh, you're right, Rhapsody. Hey, are you ready to give Oakley his present? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. This is a happy birthday song As happy as can be This is a happy birthday song Like sung by me this is a song that's not too long It's hardly half a minute But though it's short It's still the sort of song With happy music in it This is a happy birthday song Come on, let's give a cheer We're singing a happy birthday song Because, because your birthday is here. here Um, Rhapsody like, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I don't think Oakley heard our song. Oh, well then, how will we wish Oakley a happy birthday? Not to worry, Rhapsody. Ugh, I have got it covered. Look out below! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jenny, that was the best berry cake I have ever had. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, tell yum. Tell him, Jasper. Mm -hmm. hey, baby, <laughs> that was that was berry frosting with mm -hmm. berries on top of a carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was carrot cake? Huh. I've never had carrot cake before, but now it's my favorite. <laughs> oh, what's this? It's a birthday card. Oh. It says, roses are red. Violets are blue. Happy birthday, Oakley, from Rhapsody in Blue. Oh. You're Rhapsody in Blue. <laughs> a couple of very close friends. Oh, I just remembered. I have to make my birthday wish. Oh, what are you going to wish for, Oakley? I'm wishing that everyone could have friends as good as mine, because you're the best friends a tree could ever have. Oh. <laughs> Hi everybody, Oakley here. Wasn't that a wonderful party? It was sure nice of the Twiggets and Jenny to surprise me on my birthday. It made me feel great and they felt good too. It always feels good to do something nice for someone else, doesn't it? The Twiggets really had to work hard to figure out how old I am, because trees like me have been around for a very long time. They were trying to keep the party a secret, so they didn't want to ask my age. Have you ever kept a secret? My friends looked into the magic pond and learned the elephant can live a long time, but not as long as an oak tree. And Dex's box turtle is pretty old. Some are 80 years old, but I've got them beat too. It was Jenny's wonderful carrot cake with six cherries on top that helped me remember I'm 600 years old. How old are you? My little friends Rhapsody in Blue even joined in on the fun. This is a happy birthday song, as happy as can be. This is a happy birthday song, like sung by me. This is a song that's not too long, it's hardly half a minute. But though it's short, it's still the sort of song with happy music in it. This is a happy birthday song. Come on, let's give a cheer. We're singing a happy birthday song. Because, because your birthday is here. here. There's more to explore by visiting our website at www.onceuponatree.com. See you next time, my little acorns, and remember, the adventure always starts with Once Upon a Tree.